and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Dangote Refinery, Africa's largest oil facility is 97% complete. Members of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority NMDPRA, who recently paid a visit to Aliko Dangote's multi-billion dollar refinery disclosed that the refinery is 97% near completion. Speaking on the refinery project, NMDPRA's chief executive, Farouk Ahmed, reiterated the importance of the Dangote Petroleum Refinery to the country while assuring that the authority will give all necessary support to ensure timely completion and kick-start operations. The Dangote Refinery, situated on 6,180 acres 2, hectares, of land, is Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single-train petroleum facility. Upon completion, the refinery will be able to process 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day into refined petroleum products, which will help Nigeria become an oil refining country. The Group Executive Director, Strategy, Portfolio Development and Capital Projects, Dangote Industries Limited, Devakumar Edwin, hinted that the refinery would allow for smooth transshipment of refined petroleum products to international markets and ultimately eliminate the over-reliance on fuel import from other regions into Nigeria. According to him, the refinery would stimulate economic development in Nigeria, adding that it can meet 100% of Nigeria's requirement of all liquid products, gasoline, diesel, kerosene and aviation jet, and also have a surplus of each of these products for export. The high volume of petrol output from the refinery would transform Nigeria from a petrol import dependent country to an exporter of refined petroleum products, he stated, adding that the refinery would produce Euro V quality gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, kerosene and polypropylene for local consumption and also have a surplus of each of the products for export. Nigeria currently imports most of its refined petroleum due to a lack of domestic refining capacity. With this new facility, Nigeria's refining capacity will double and help meet the increasing fuel demand while providing cost savings. Dangote Refinery expected to start operations by mid-2023. The Dangote Refinery being built in Nigeria by Africa's richest person, Aliko Dangote, in the outskirts of Lagos, will finally start operations by mid-2023, according to the state oil company which has a 20% stake in the project. Projection is first quarter, but we think that it can come up latest by the middle of next year, Mele Kyari, chief executive of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, told reporters in Abuja, the capital. The NNPC will stop importing refined products next year, once the 650,000 barrel a day refinery starts up and the ongoing rehabilitation of the state firm's own refineries is completed, he added. The project, which also includes a fertilizer complex, started construction in 2016 and has been delayed several times. NNPC will begin allocating crude production from its partnerships with oil companies to the refinery once it begins operations, according to Kyari. We have locked down the ability to sell 330,000 barrels per day minimum by right for the next 20 years, he said. The state-owned energy firm has also acquired the right to purchase 20% of production from the plant, Kyari added. The refinery will primarily produce gasoline, but also some quantities of diesel and jet fuel. Dangote refinery once operational will convert crude oil, sourced from around the globe, into various products such as gasoline, kerosene, jet fuel, diesel, propane, LPG, polypropylene, and other value-added fuels. Some of these products are used to produce petrochemicals used for making plastics and other products. Post-completion, the refinery will become the dominant fuel supplier in Nigeria, with the ability to export to other parts of Africa, Europe and South America. Its relatively high Nelson complexity index of 9.5 results from its capability to refine crude into mostly high-value products, providing it a strong competitive edge against older refineries in the region. Dangote Refinery is a 650,000 barrels per day, BPD, 
integrated refinery and petrochemical project under construction in the Leki Free Zone near Lagos, Nigeria. It is expected to be Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility. The refinery will process a variety of light and medium grades of crude to produce Euro V quality clean fuels including gasoline and diesel as well as jet fuel and polypropylene. Dangote Oil Refinery, a company owned by the Nigeria-based Dangote Group, is developing the project with an estimated investment of $19 billion. Nigeria's Federal Executive Council FEC, approved the acquisition of 20% minority stake in the project by state-owned Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC, for $2.76 billion in August 2021. Estimated to hold 37 billion barrels of proven oil reserves, Nigeria is the second biggest oil-rich country in Africa, after Libya. Nigeria is, however, dependent on imported refined fuel products due to lack of domestic refining capacity. The Dangote refinery will double Nigeria's refining capacity and help meet the increasing domestic fuel demand, while generating foreign exchange through exports. The refinery complex is being developed on a 2,635 hectares site on the Lekki Free Zone near the Lekki Lagoon, along the coast of Atlantic Ocean. The geographical location of the refinery is ideal for easy transshipment of the refined petroleum products to international markets. Dangote built a jetty near the project site to receive heavy equipment for the construction. The Dangote oil refinery is designed to produce up to 50 million litres of gasoline and 15 million litres of diesel a day. The processing facilities at the refinery include a crude distillation unit CDU, and associated facilities, a mild hydrocracking MHC, unit, a residual fluid catalytic cracking RFCC, unit, a naphtha hydrotreater, and a gasoline hydrodesulfurization HDS, unit as well as alkylation units. The refinery complex will also house sulfur recovery and hydrogen generation facilities and a polypropylene unit, comprising two steam methane reformer SMR, units. The hydrogen generation facility will generate 200,000 newton meters cubed H of hydrogen and steam to produce sulfur-free fuels. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.